Hey guys, welcome back for another video. So I am once again on the hunt for carpenter bees today. So I've made a couple videos on some attempts to, uh, I don't know, to get rid of these things. Not so much to prevent them, just try to get rid of them. My favorite activity is tennis racket, but it's just fun and it doesn't actually get rid of them. So um, if you're not familiar, I'm gonna dead one here, with these carpenter bees. This is what they look like, I'll come out in the sun. They look like a bumblebee and they are super destructive. And yes, I know they're pollinators. So it'd be great if I didn't have to get rid of them and kill them, but they just chew holes in the deck. So if you can see that hole up there, there's a hole there, there's a hole there, there's a hole there, there's holes everywhere. And from what I understand from people who are pretty knowledgeable about this stuff is they, they, um, they drill like a perfect 3 8 inch hole. How a bee can do that in pressure treated wood, I have no idea. But they do and they go in. From what I understand, they go in an inch or so, and then they spread and they'll go several inches in either direction. And they go in there and the females lay their eggs in there. And the males don't sting, but they just constantly fly around our deck up here. You can't even sit out there and enjoy a sunny day because the bees are everywhere. So I've had multiple people tell me in comments that I need to try permethrin. Permethrin, 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 I think. So I got a, I got a bottle. I'm gonna mix some up and my plan of attack here is I'm just gonna basically saturate all these joists down here. I'll try to get up and actually shoot some in the holes. And from what I understand, this is a um, natural product. Um, doesn't bother humans or, I think it comes from like a chrys chrysanthemum plant or something like that, flower. But anyway, it doesn't bother humans or pets but it's uh, but pretty rough on, on bugs, any kind of bugs actually. So hopefully this will keep these things, actually keep them away and uh, prevent, our, prevent our little our bee problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix them up. We'll spray it down and I will give you guys an update to let you know how effective this was. So the instructions say 3.2 ounces per gallon and I've got two gallons of water mixed up so I'm gonna go for about six and a half ounces here. If this stuff actually works, I'm gonna be really happy. Right, guys so I've sprayed everything on the bottom of the deck here and I can hear as I was going I could hear these bees really unhappy and you can see that one right there basically just fell out of one of those holes there was another one right beside it I think actually that's one of the females there was another one right beside her who just stumbled off he was he was just barely able to fly but I don't think he's gonna make it and interestingly, I sprayed some wasp nest too. And uh, where did he go to? I just had a, a wasp fall right out of that nest and he was bouncing around here, not doing well. So I don't know, I'm optimistic. Maybe this stuff is actually gonna be the ticket. We'll see. I'll have to double check and make sure that I got everything sprayed. If I see any or hear any down here, I'll have to check and see where they're coming from. And I may have to re-hit a couple spots. It's a pretty good sized deck, so there's a lot of surface area to cover. But I'm gonna, uh, we got some hot sunny days coming up, which are the days that the carpenter bees really love to come out and harass people. So this will be a good test. I will, uh, I'm gonna monitor for a couple of days and I'll come back and give you an update. Here's a second bee that flew off. I, I saw him. She took flight and then did some crazy aerobatics and just fell straight to the ground. And as you can see, it's not doing well. So again, I'm optimistic. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, so it's been almost three weeks since I did that application of the permethrin 
on the deck, and I wanted to give you guys an update. So uh, I am pleased to report that this stuff works. We've got, this is a hot sunny day. It's like 95 degrees today. This is a perfect day for those carpenter bees to be out just going to work, and there isn't a bee under the deck. We've been able to sit outside, enjoy the deck without having the bees dive bombing us all the time. And most importantly, they're not under here drilling holes in the deck. So um, this stuff, I have to thank. There's, there were several people in the comments. I made a previous video. Um, I, I, had, I was, uh, had some, uh, some lithium-based WD-40 that I had tried last year that I was shooting in those holes. And it, 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 uh, the bees don't like it, and it would keep them away for a little while, but they would come back, and they would just find another spot to drill a different hole. Um, so anyway, I had a lot of comments about this permethrin, and I have to thank everybody who made a comment because this stuff works. So um, I got this bottle off of Amazon. I'm sure you can probably get this thing about anywhere, you know, hardware stores or whatever. I'll leave a link down below um, to this particular bottle. I would say, so this is an 8-ounce bottle, and I used with 2 gallons of water. So I mixed this at a rate of, I think it was 3.2... Um, I think it was 3.2 ounces per gallon. So I used up the majority of this bottle with, uh, with two gallons to treat a relatively large deck. Um, I'll probably, what I don't know at this point, so again, it's been about three weeks and it's working. They're, every once in a while, um, I'll see a random, you know, carpenter bee that'll fly by and they're just out looking for, you know, looking for a place to drill a hole, I guess, <laughs> looking for homes but I don't see anything down here working and they don't, you know, they don't, they don't mob us and, and make sitting on the deck miserable. So what I don't know is how long this stuff is gonna last. I think someone had made a comment that it might be, you might have to retreat it like once a month or something. And if I have to, it's not the end of the world. So I'm just gonna kind of wait and see. And if I start noticing them hanging out and I see, you know, come down here and I see them working on the bottom of the deck, I'll just, I'll just hit it again. But what I was gonna say is I'll probably look and see if I can find a little bit bigger bottle than that eight ounce. Um, you know, see if I can find like a 16 ounce or something like that, just so I can get a couple treatments out of it. But anyway, super easy to use. You saw me, I just, uh, dumped it into a hand, to a, to a hand sprayer. Um, the hardest thing is you have to get on a lateral. If you have a, if you have a tall deck like I do, you know, I have to get up on a ladder and constantly be moving the ladder around. But I don't know, maybe if I had a, a spray nozzle with a longer wand on it, I could actually reach up there from the ground. But regardless, this stuff works. Again, thank you to everybody who made comments on my other video. Um, this, is the, this is by far the best solution. It's still pretty fun taking them out with a, with a tennis racket, I have to admit. Um, and if I have some wandering around, I might just do that. But permethrin, permethrin is the ticket. So I appreciate you guys watching. Um, hopefully you guys found this helpful, and we'll see you in the next video.